Welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. Now we get to very, very casual guests in the house. Remember, say, uh, first of all, um, the Future Awards Africa 2018 uh, go share like this particular Sunday where they come, where they look us for front already. And the uh, Future Awards, they celebrate young Nigerians where they say and they do very, very great things inside Ubudo, Nigeria. Uh, things where not be everybody fit do, not be everybody sabi do. And because of that, where they bring their commerce to do, where they come tell us about some of these things where they don't do, where then they do, where they plan to do. We make the future awards people decide say these people they deserve to be nominated for this future award. Uh, first of all, to my far left, we get Mr. Martin's gospel. Uh, then in, in an advocate here and in group, then they advocate uh, you know for the betterment of Nigeria and they help young people all around the country for the creeks, for the deep places where that people know if they enter. Then they go there, they do betterment for those kind of people, for those kind of children, uh, so that they will be better people in the future. And even now, so they go fit contribute to Bodo Nigeria to help themselves. Uh, Martins, welcome to our studio. Yeah, and of course, after Mr. Martins, we get Mr. Charles Ode. Charles Ode, and I did wrong one kind. Uh, SME 100, you know, the CEO SME 100. This one a business uh, support non profit organization uh, dedicated to the teaching of small businesses and how to leverage uh, the, the how to leverage the media as a particular tool to grow their business position and their business as a key as a key player uh, for inside the chosen field and to attract uh, foreign investments as well. Mr. Charles, good to have you here. Thank you. All right, first of all, I will start with you, Martins. Um, very quickly, I know, say, I mean, I just overview, I give people of what you they do. We would like to make you tell us exactly what you they do will make you feel, say, at the future awards people see you, say, you they try and you deserve this particular award. Uh, the two what they do, we say, uh, Nigeria, over time, will be known uh, as a, a oil and gas producing uh, country, what they do better. And, uh, but uh, on top of that, uh, the pollution, because of bunkre and uh, Ill, uh, illegal local refining, where people could just put a container, light fire, do, do their own uh, 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 this in uh, oil, put oil, refine their own, bring on market, they pollute the environment. It's too much for Oboro Nigeria. And this one now, as they pollute, they pollute within the Oboro Nigeria, it affects agriculture because nowhere to uh, plant. It affects uh, uh, the uh, company uh, and the government budget, functionalities and budget, it affects everything. Even for Port Harcourt, it affects everywhere within the Niger Delta region. So, would they go school to school? Would they go community to community? Would they go the creek to creek? Where did they from the ship, all these ones? They talk to them, they try to let them know, say, they, this one they do is no good for our children. Because this one now for the future of our food, our children and their children children who they try to advocate for. So on top of this, all they do, we don't know say people they watch, and then little by little as we do them, they come uh, nominate me as a, 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 a for advocacy. So I thank uh, TFF team and uh, thank God I'm here. All right. Now, now River State you for come from? I'm from River State. Uh, which side for Rivers? I'm from Onega. Onega. Ah, yeah. That's very interesting because I've, be, I've been served for Onega local government uh -huh. uh, many years ago. That was a Obiofu community. Where? Obiofu. Obiofu community. Uh, okay. maybe, well, maybe you know the area, but that's a uh, down after Omok side. Okay. For that down, you go take, we even cross water side and go that side. Uh -huh. uh, so <laughs> All of the water we did. Yeah, many of us been wrong, come back. <laughs> uh -huh. All of During the water we did, there are just so, so uh, same uh, pollution and all very that. I've been seeing some of those things when I've been there many uh -huh. years ago. Well, now, good thing you they do very con commendable thing, and uh, we pray, say your efforts no go go down. Um, so, you, how, how confident you there about winning this award? You, you know the other people where they, where they are nominated in this category? Uh, um, uh, what thing I go talk, we say, for now, uh, I they keep uh, my hope alive, and uh, I, for me, I they do this one for uh, the future of uh, the children. And uh, whether I win or I don't win, I thank God because uh, this one don't make me uh, kind of know a lot of people, mm -hmm. and this one don't make me. It just be like putting Banky W talk for our reception uh, at the uh, British Council. He say, and the team of this very uh, 2018 uh, uh, award, oh, yeah, they say uh, we are Nigerian new breed. Mm -hmm. So knowing that one, we are to go back to our locations and now put more effort to better Obudu Nigeria. Yeah, it just be like one day, sorry, one day I was uh, taking on an impact, uh, assessment impact on the, within the environment. So we are, we carry chopper, they go towards Escravos. 
So within that escarvos, before you get to escarvos, all over the areas, they can't pollution where they there. Even for the chopper, if you come down little, you go to perceive the nonsense way people they do within that area. Yeah, so <clears throat> little by little. But I, anyway, I thank God, say, I keep hope alive, and then I, I will keep pushing when I get down, down to Niger Delta region. Thank you very much. Now, wonderful thing you did do again, and uh, we can only continue to commend and to support uh, your efforts. Now, of course, uh, Mr. Charles Odi, they here with us, and uh, you're on a business, basically. We know, say, uh, for a very long time, a lot of people don't they push, uh, don't they clamor for the support of small and medium scale enterprises inside with Nigeria. And we know, say, our economy will not survive without small and medium scale enterprises. Now, you're into SME 100. Uh, tell us a little bit about SME 100, with high tech start and what you did do. Okay, so um, good morning again. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So SME 100 came as a result of a lot of things. One was the disturbing challenge. One now the disturbing <laughs> challenges <laughs> for you. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So l last year, the U.S. government said the work already do for Nigeria, and they carry me go America, say make a, for learn how to support small businesses for 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 Nigeria. When I did America, one of the things where where they very striking to me, they say. Um, at age eight, at age nine, those children, at age eight, eight, nine, for a year, they did like primary three, primary four. Mm. Those people don't really, they run company. So for their primary three, for America, the, the class, where they did, they divide them into three. Some people for the class, now then they write how to take market the product. Some people for the class, now then they write how to develop the product. Some people for the class, now then they write how to research the product. Now these are people where they primary eight, primary nine. They don't they learn how to build boats. They don't they learn how to do a marketing literature for their own businesses. And these people, will, later in life, they will come complete with us, our own people, where all they don't learn for school. Now say, may they go to school, may they go, when they finish school, come learn, look for a job. And within the irony of the matter, they say, no job for these people. Mm -hmm. First of all, the economy, our educational system for Nigeria, know they support people to come out of school, to become, to, to begin to employ people. What did they do? Now say, make you learn, go, come out, come they find job. Come they find job for where? No job, number one. Number two, if the people who come out for the school, when they come out and they start business, if they start three years like this, if three of us start, let's say we start today, mm -hmm. in like another three years, maybe only you go down there. They did the business, and if only you did, your business self you get as it be, you don't go grow. So we can't look and say, how, how our economy feel better? How if we eradicate poverty? So for instance, me, I get a driver, right? They have my one driver, the money where they give them, in two children, they go to school, in wife, they, 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 they feed shop for house, in mama and papa, they collect money, and in cousins, they send money to them. Seven people, they depend on that, my driver. So, not only or only, Poverty don't they come up for the mouth of those people. Mm -hmm. So we don't look and say, if we feed do this one for if I feed one for one person, how much more effect we get if we get more businesses where they do this kind of thing? So we come to say, okay, the people where they do business, we could train them so that they could be in business for long. So they can free employ people, reduce the higher rate of employment, and eradicate poverty. Those they won't start, they could help them plan how you go start the business. Because anybody if you do business, but if you want to grow sustainable business, this thing need planning. So we go sit down with those people. Look what you want to do. Look how if you feel even they uh, feasible for Nigeria. For instance, they talk to one man. He say he want to do change. all those cloth where the fifty cent they wear heavy mm. cloth. Those cloth thick. If you bring that on Nigeria, first of all, where where they no permit those kind of things. <laughs> so that one a business where don't die is dead on arrival. So you see the kind of ripple effect. So if, no matter how you love that kind of business, we go advise you. Or God, look for another business. Or God, look in which other passion you get. Come, we could sit down. We could plan this thing. Because the, this economy, you know they're dependent on the politicians. You know they're dependent. The politicians get the role where they play. But these small businesses, the business where you go start, business where you go start, business where you go start, whether for profit or non-profit, it can ripple effect on the economy. This, that business free employ people. By so doing, reduce the high rate of employment. That business free eradicate poverty. That business free develop community. That, that business free do plenty of things. And it is hinge on say you start or you start well or you do them and you do them well to employ people to develop the community where they do the business. All right, lovely thing where you do now. Quickly ask for how long um, or when, when you been start SME 100? I started four years ago. Four years ago. Oh, four years wow. ago. You can wait about four years ago. Don't they, don't they go school already, sir? <laughs> uh, so you go say the business don't they grow small, small. And so far, uh, how you go read the success of SME 100? So for instance, we did do one event every year. We called Nigeria 25 or 25 hours. We did go around Nigeria. We they ask for people 
We deal under 25. We, de we don't start business. We they do phenomenal things. Very similar to the future world, but this one are under 25. And why would they do them under 25? Because we won't catch those people young. But when we catch those people young, we support them. When they, we support them, then the free ought to grow, effect uh, change for the economy, mm -hmm. effect uh, um, positively on the, the lives of other people when they watch them. So this award now, we don't do it three times. And the people from that award, some of them don't go, don't raise money. One of them don't raise 1.1 million US dollars mm. to better in business. Some of them don't even go win future awards. Some of them don't even go win Forbes, 30 or 30. Mm. So, but now because we identify them when they're small, and we say, we see this multi way they do, we recognize them. Go, continue. We, we they say thank you. And what do we go to? We go support you. So you, you go free, grow. And as you grow, the economy will grow because you employ people, you they reduce poverty. One. So we they do something called Lagos Small Business Summit every year. For the Lagos Small Business Summit, we go get government, make government sit down, get the small business owners, make they sit down. We go get academia, people, PhD holders, make they sit down. We can't get uh, private sector movies sit down. We can't they talk how we feel better the lives of small businesses for Nigeria. When we talk those talk, talk those talk. Last year, for the Global Entrepreneurship Week, we do them about four weeks ago. For inside there, we can't give one million, we partner with one bank, we could give one of them. One of the small business owners, one millionaire, say, take, you work where you don't they do, you're good. Say, take this one millionaire, add to the work where they do. Other people, where they, they come talk about their business, like that. other investors, they, they listen to them. Those investors don't want to put money behind them. Other people, where they, they, where they talk, business advisors, people, where we help them for their business, come go call them, say, come, we could do this thing together. As they go, as they go, you know, go, go better. Make me, where be doctor for, for, for law, help you. Better structure this thing. Make me, where be a HR advisor, help you so that you go free hire people. So those people, they don't get better funding. Those people don't get better support. Just because we sit down. And now we don't even talk to government. How we won't take, include the small business owner. The government are the biggest contractor for this country. Sure. Then they give contract. I think they give contract. How you won't put small businesses for inside that contract, maybe they benefit. Those people won't want to do business. How you feel, say, okay, for the first three years, you when you come to this particular sector, you don't go collect, you don't go collect tax for your hand, so that other people feel come to the sector, so that people the economy feel grow. Or how if you talk and say, okay, so you you be government, these small businesses you they collect tax on them for for water, collect tax for sign, collect tax for how you feel is this tax so that their lives go better. Very true. Oh, this one a nice one. Um, well, we don't think you will inside the studio for too long already. I don't. I did very very interested in wasting the both of Nadi talk in different ways. That impact on the lives of Nigerians, particularly the young Nigerians, because of course, even though they don't tell us before, say the future uh, youth are leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow don't reach. Now next tomorrow we don't enter. We see the wait when the youths go. Uh, but Mr. Uh, Mr. Majid, I would like to ask very quickly: When would have been started this on our own project? For how long it done they run? Uh, this project uh, we began on the project uh, 20, uh, 2016. Mm. We began uh, run the project on 14 February. We began run the project. And then from there it starts, and then we begin collaborate with the uh, schools. We go to uh, universities, go to uh, environmental uh, sciences, collaborate with their HODs, collaborate with uh, the students, so that we can uh, expand, go to other locations, uh, Delta within the Niger Delta region, so that we go fully mitigate uh, oil sabotage and theft. So for this one. We started to, uh, for 16th, uh, 2016, and then little by little we are growing. And uh, by, for the future time, at least we know we are going to very close to mitigating uh, oil sabotage and theft uh, via education across uh, the world of Nigeria. All right, very beautiful work that they do. Within two years, you don't grow, you don't recognize. Within four years, uh, you don't grow, you don't recognize. And uh, even the American government don't carry you. Don't carry you, go abroad, come back. Next time they carry you, I better might give you my phone number. <laughs> but we'll quickly like to ask you, first of all, how people go feed, uh, follow you for social media? Um, do you have social media presence? How do they know more about you? Yes, so you um, on social media is at SME 100 Africa, okay. on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, on LinkedIn as well. We're on YouTube and um, Google Plus. It's, it's SME 100 Africa. All right. And uh, any social media presence for you as well? Yes, uh, our own uh, if uh, Facebook, facebook.com uh, forward slash oil dangers with Martins. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, Instagram, at oil dangers with Martins. Oil dangers. Oil dangers. Okay. With Martins. Uh, if you come for uh, Insta, uh, Twitter, uh, at oil dangers. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Martins and Mr. Charles. And we wish you all the best for the future awards where they come. We go there definitely to cover the occasion. And then when we see you, definitely we will congratulate you. Hope you save now go win the awards. And if money follows you, I'm 10%. <laughs>
to enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.